this tutorial is going to be on the look I'm wearing right now. I wore this to a barbecue I went to a week ago. Um, and it's basically using, it's actually using completely the naked palette. It's just all naked palette colors, which I will swatch those. I'll have pictures of the swatches of them against my skin tone if that helps anybody. Um, but yeah, I'll have that during the tutorial. But yeah, so basically it's just kind of like a, a gold which looks really awesome on my skin tone and um, a mix of two uh, lipsticks to just kind of like give it a little bit more color um, so yeah so if you want to see how I got this look just stay tuned so of course we're gonna start by priming the lid with um, primer potion of course then I'm putting in a transition color which is Buck from the Naked palette um, it's just good to make them blend together, the colors. Then I'm highlighting with Sin. I'm actually doing my highlight first um, this time just because I want to see how it ends up looking. And then I'm taking a black NYX Jumbo Pencil as my base. Necessary to have a base. It helps the colors pop. Then I'm taking Half Baked from the Naked Palette and putting it on the inner um, half of my lid um, so just taking it from like the tier the inner tier part to the middle um, and just dabbing that on and then I'm using smog from the naked, naked palette and putting that on the other half um, and making those two at the middle kind of cross over each other so it just kind of transitions and blends well you don't want any harsh lines um, so people can see where the two colors were or met at then I'm taking hustle from the naked palette and using that as my crease color just as a good way to blend both of the colors together um and it just kind of smooths out everything basically and then I'm using the darker color um in the naked palette the black and just putting that in the outer corner just to give a little bit of definition not a lot like it's not super super noticeable and I'm just blending with um this blendy brush just blending kind of all the colors together then I'm using um my tinted moisturizer of course and just putting that all over everyone and yes I did do that in the middle of my regimen just to try and change things up and see if it'll make a difference um, with my application then I'm putting my concealer on top of that under the eye get rid of those dark circles and then I'm taking my Stila liquid eyeliner and just doing a wing tip like thing yeah and just drawing that all the way in, making sure the line is thin on the outer corner, like on the wing, and making sure it's thin on the lid. I think it's really important to make sure the lid is thin, like it's not super, super thick, or else it's gonna look kind of goopy, unless that's the look you're going for, which I was not. Um, and then I put on, off camera, I put on the black uh, coal eyeliner on my bottom waterline, and now I'm setting it with the black from the Naked palette. Um, with just kind of like an eyeliner brush, just setting it to make sure it stays in place, gives it a little bit more depth. Then I'm doing the same thing to the top lash, not doing it to the wing, but just to the top where I put the liquid eyeliner before, it keeps it in place and just kind of darkens up the liner. Sometimes the liner can kind of get a little uh, wishy washy. Then I'm just setting my concealer with my trusted Ben Nye setting powder in nutmeg. Now I'm using this highlighter stick thingy that I, from Benefit that I got from Sephora as a free birthday gift just because I wanted to try it out, see how it looks. Um, and I'm just highlighting the tops of my cheekbones and my nose and then I'm just blending that out with a um, blush brush that I got from e.l.f. from Target because it's actually a really good brush. Not as good as my MAC one, but it's a good brush. And I'm just blending that out. You want to make sure that you can, you don't, you want to blend it out so that you don't see those harsh lines like you don't want to look like a freaking warrior in the warrior paint with highlighter lines on so yeah you just blend it out basically the same way you do blush and then I'm contouring with this color from the 28 neutrals palette from BH cosmetics they don't put names on it so I have no idea what the color is um I'll just show it to you but yeah just putting that right below the apples of my cheeks and just contouring it up and then using my raisin blush from MAC and just putting it on the apples just to get some heat back up in my face and because I just put that blush on all the time then I'm just setting it all with my Ben Nye nutmeg powder 
keeping everything in place. Then I'm using um, eyeliner from MAC, the bittersweet one, lining my lips. I mean lip liner, lip liner, sorry, not eyeliner. Then I am taking um, Rebel from MAC and putting that on. It's a pretty strong purplish reddish color, so I always ha I had to personally for this look dull it down with Touch um, by MAC, which is what I'm putting on right now. And it just kind of evens it out, but still you still have that color under it. So it's not, you know, super obnoxious, like your lips aren't taking all the attention. And then just my usual Benefit Mascara, their real mascara, to pop up the lashes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the look. Had to give you all some details and whatnot. Hope you like it.